When we study in another country or move into a new town, we are often exposed to a culture different from ours and need to go through four stages of transition. Honeymoon, frustration, adjustment, and adaptation. During stage two, some experience a real culture shock, severe forms of which can lead to reactions that may need medical attention. But before we come to that, let's first look at what happens typically. In stage one, honeymoon, everything is beautiful. The people are friendly, the culture rich, the way of local life fascinating. We are optimistic and excited about all the differences. In stage two, we feel frustration. Reality sets in. We have come to understand that there are plenty of barriers to connecting with people and have difficulty with the social norms. We start to reject local traditions and begin to feel homesick. The stage of adjustment is characterized by a growing familiarity with our new way of life. We begin to understand the new customs, acquire language skills, and make local friends we start to feel more comfortable. Last is adaptation. During this stage, we gain a sense of belonging and are able to fully participate in the new culture, even while maintaining our own native identity. Known as the stage of mastery, we now start to feel at home. However, not everyone arrives at this point. Some people are excited about the foreign culture for months and others start to get frustrated on day one. And then there are those who experience a culture shock that is so strong that they leave before adjusting. The Paris syndrome is the most extreme form of culture shock. It typically strikes some Japanese tourists who come to the French capital full of excitement and romantic expectations, but are then confronted with filth and arrogance. The 20 or so travelers that are reported to be hit each year experience a wide range of psychiatric and psychosomatic symptoms, including anxiety, hallucinations, and vomiting. And so they leave deeply distressed before they adjust. Those who have adapted to a new society may face a surprise when they eventually return home. After another honeymoon, they often enter a reverse culture shock, realizing how much they have been estranged from their old way of life. But it can get worse. The ones who are pushed into a new culture without being asked often skip honeymoon altogether and enter straight into the stage of frustration. If that happens without the right support, they never really settle in, can't adjust, and remain frustrated indefinitely. Studies show that toddlers who are sent for their first days at preschool without anyone to accompany them experience so much anxiety that they can't bond with their teachers. As a result, they remain frightened to go and clock significantly more sick days for their entire preschool years. This is why good schools often demand that parents stay with their children until they can fully settle in. The original research on culture shock was conducted by Sphere Lisgard in the 1950s, after the sociologists had talked to many Norwegians who had spent time in the United States, mostly for academic reasons. Analyzing his interviews, he saw a clear pattern. The culture shock curve, with happiness on one axis and months in a foreign country on another, shows that, on average, the honeymoon period lasts for around two months. Then there are about six months of frustration before adjustment happens. Adaptation starts after close to a year. What about you? Did you ever travel abroad or move to another country where you experienced the four stages? Share your thoughts about the theory and your personal experiences in the comments below. If you like this video and want us to make more, subscribe to our channel or support us on Patreon.